The fuckers tied me up so tight I can't feel my arms. Look, man, the rope's too tight. I can't free myself. Uh, I owe you a big one, and I'll never forget this, I swear. Uh, these forest fuckers just left me here for the wolves. Everything's fine, give it a rest. All right, I guess I'll go. Yeah, dude, there's over there! I see you! It's me! It's the guys! What are you doing? You dirty bandit! Thank <laughs> you. 
Speak, pilot! You summoned the council, so take the word first. You don't respect the teacher's word! What is that supposed to mean? You let an intruder go. He could lead the others here. He saw all of our positions here. Nobody let him go. He escaped. The guard was distracted, and he's being punished. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, more intruders come and start cutting you to pieces. That's going to be a good Yeah, hell. you'll be running around pissing your pants and shouting, We punished the guard. Or maybe you'll just surrender. Running as your forte, you said you were going to hold the lumber mill and ran. Don't you dare! The boys died there to the last man! The dead lands are spreading. Holding that is harder than keeping one intruder under a lock. And we will hold the swamp camp. Don't be afraid, weaklings. You say that again and I'll deck you. Watch your tone. But he was saying shit about the boys who died there. All right. Anyhow, you pioneers shut your pants. Now we'll have to board the train. Better than waiting for their attack. Remember the teacher's word. We defend ourselves. Attack is the best form of defense. What? I don't remember the teacher saying that! The teacher said you have to read. So we read that in our book. Well, if you read that in your book, then you can attack, and we won't. The teacher also said that you can't just kill everyone. You have to take them to the forest court. Ah, we expected as much from you. All right, we can handle it ourselves. And we'll hang the second intruder from a post once we catch him. He's not a bandit, and he didn't hurt the girls. He only defended himself. Why kill him? Because he's an he intruder. Because he came here like a bandit, so he'll get hanged like one. And I dare you to say we are bandits. Is that a threat? It's a warning. Enough! I declare this session closed. And now, as hospitality dictates, let's eat together.
Metro, the epic first-person shooter series based on the novels by Dmitry Glukovsky and developed by 4A Games, pits players as Artyom, a survivor and Spartan ranger in post-apocalyptic Russia. After the critically acclaimed Metro 2033 and its sequel, Last Light, the series returns with its third and most ambitious installment yet, Metro Exodus. This walkthrough takes place in a level situated near the Volga River, shortly after Artyom, his wife Anna, and their fellow Spartans discover there is life outside the Moscow Metro and flee the tunnels on a hijacked train called the Aurora, heading east in search of answers. The Volga is one of a number of huge open levels in the game. This is a bold new concept for Metro, but these self-contained worlds are woven together by more traditional linear levels. The Volga contains many hours of gameplay, but this walkthrough will focus on just a handful of segments in order to demonstrate the multitude of new features in Metro Exodus. Having been briefed by the Spartan Order's commander, Miller, to explore the area, players will quickly find themselves thrust into a dangerous and hostile world. Even far away from Moscow, radiation levels are still a constant threat, with players having to manage the time remaining on their gas mask filters in addition to their other resources. Scavenging for chemicals and materials that can be used to craft equipment and ammunition, therefore, is a must, and you'll be immersed within a world that constantly demands your attention in order to survive. The Volga level is many times larger than the most expansive level in Last Light, and is indicative of the new sandbox survival gameplay mechanic in Exodus. A critical narrative path is always there to follow, but these wild, open environments offer countless locations to explore and unique encounters for those who dare to venture off the beaten track. That electric tower there looks like a perfect sniping position. Let's go. Some of these locations may reward you with upgrades and new equipment, while others may provide greater insight into the lore of Metro. Within these huge environments, players will traverse the territories of the mutants, bandits, drifters, and survivors that inhabit post-apocalyptic Russia. Here, you'll see the AI biomes in effect, where humans, mutants, and animals will all react differently to their surroundings, depending on a variety of factors. Look, Players may see mutants hunting other mutants, and an open firefight could attract unwanted or maybe wanted attention. Early into their mission, Artyom and Anna stumble upon a group of cultists who believe electricity and technology caused the destruction of society in Russia. Having infiltrated the cultist church and rescued two of their prisoners, players must find their way back to Miller and the Spartans, and can choose a number of different methods with which to escape. As with any Metro title, Exodus places the onus on the player to choose how they progress. It's possible to play this entire level without killing a single human being, or if subtlety isn't your style, you can adopt a take-no-prisoners approach. Regardless of ethics and playstyle, however, there will always be a need to infiltrate areas with a level of discretion. Stealth, therefore, plays a significant role in Metro Exodus. With the ability to modify weapons in the field, players can customize their setup depending on the situation at hand. The flexible Kalash can quickly transform from long-range to close-quarters configuration, and with the right upgrades, the basic three-shot revolver can be turned into a silenced, six-chambered and deadly accurate handgun. Crouching and sticking to the shadows will reduce your chances of being discovered by enemies. The blue stealth indicator on your wrist will glow when you're at risk of being seen. Interacting with the environment around you is also key. Extinguishing torches and creating a distraction by throwing tin cans to confuse enemies as to your whereabouts, allowing you to get close and execute a silent kill. If it's too difficult to approach from behind, a throwing knife will bring down sentries from range. If your presence is discovered, perhaps through a missed shot or by making too much noise and the alarm is raised, the game isn't over, but the rules have changed. Players will hear dynamic battle chatter as foes call out to their companions and attempt to pinpoint your location. Enemies will try to hunt you down as the game transitions into a frenetic action-oriented shooter.
as you eliminate more enemies, some might finally realize the threat of your presence and surrender, forcing you to make a decision and decide their fate. Praise be to Tsarfish, the protector of the people. For the full range of weapon crafting and modification options, players will find workbenches in small outposts scattered throughout every level, where they can customize their loadout. Everything from med packs and gas mask filters to ammunition and throwable items can be crafted at the workbench from materials scavenged in the field. As players use their weapons, dirt and grime will accumulate on them in real time, reducing accuracy and damage and making them prone to jamming and overheating. Resources can be spent cleaning and maintaining your weapons here. Another signature feature of Metro is the unique arsenal of handcrafted, improvised weaponry. There are hundreds of modification combinations that drastically affect a weapon's stats and performance as they are stripped for upgrades. Every component in a Metro weapon is modeled on real-life materials, such as a Soviet-era kitchen utensil that forms part of a heavy stock to provide stability to the Kalash, or the fan-favorite Tiha, a pneumatic sniper rifle that fires ball bearings for silent, long-range kills. The Tiha has its very own set of upgrades available, like increasingly airtight seals keeping up air pressure in the pneumatic system. Your equipment can similarly be repaired or upgraded at a workbench, allowing you to increase your protection or mobility with upgrades to your helmet or armor, or make life a little easier with additions like a compass to your wrist bracer. Outposts also provide a new feature to players, rest. You can change the time of day depending on how you want to approach your next challenge. During the day, enemies may be spread out, on patrol, and easier to pick off. However, you too will be more visible in the daylight. Attacking an encampment at night might mean enemies are sleeping or huddled around a camp. A more concentrated threat, but you'll benefit from a stealth approach. Even in such open environments, claustrophobic, close-quarters combat is never far away. Players will still experience the tense, frightening encounters that have made Metro what it is today. But these moments of pure, anxiety-inducing combat are seamlessly embedded into the wider, open levels. With Artyom and the Spartans a considerable distance from Moscow, they will start to discover how radiation has affected different life forms across the country. Humanimals are a new mutant to Exodus, fierce and unrelenting. The A-Shot serves as an effective close-range weapon for this frantic, breathless type of gameplay, a marked distinction from more tactically demanding human encounters. Artyom's wife, Anna, the Spartan Order's top sniper, has gone missing, and players now have a new directive to find her. Mission updates will be marked on a player's map, a physicalized object that you can access at any time. Metro avoids the clutter of HUD and UI wherever possible, communicating all critical information through tangible, tactile objects to increase immersion. Whilst nighttime can provide cover, it brings its own set of challenges. A watchman on patrol can spell danger, and if not dealt with, 
it will call its pack to ambush you. And in a world rife with dangers, a more mysterious threat is that of the anomaly, a roaming electrical phenomena that expels radiation and will kill you if it gets too close. Upon finding Anna, it's clear the effect of radiation in an enclosed environment has taken its toll. Artyom will need to find a way to open the doors in order to get out in time before the gas mask filters run out. Although much of the surface is breathable now, Metro Exodus retains the claustrophobic, gas mask gameplay that the series is known for, where your Nixie watch ticks down the minutes and seconds of air left to breathe. In comparison to previous Metro titles, players can craft new filters in the field if they have sufficient materials to do so, but it will always be under constant threat of mutants and limited resources in this haunting, atmospheric setting. If your gas mask gets damaged, you also have the ability to make a temporary field repair. Although until you can find a workbench, your vision will be somewhat compromised. Nothing a little duct tape can't handle for the time being though. One of the key new aspects of gameplay in Metro Exodus is the dynamic weather system and a day-night cycle that offers tactical opportunities. At the midway point in the level, Artyom must steal a train carriage to add to the Aurora so that they can transport the additional survivors that have joined the Spartan ranks. With the darkness of nighttime and the storm providing cover, players will want to whittle down the large number of bandits on guard one by one, as they keep to the shadows in a stealth assault the train yard is just one of many settings that demonstrate the progression seen in Exodus from previous Metro games. The classic Metro gameplay elements of human and mutant combat, stealth and resourcefulness, all set in tense, 
frantic and often claustrophobic environments are ever present. Juggling the charging of your battery to keep power flowing to your night vision goggles, disabling tin can traps, keeping air pressure in the Tihar high, all while staying alert to the hostility around you, are all part of the unique and highly engaging gameplay that has made this series so revered. Attention to detail is another contributing factor to that status. Everything in Exodus is built on real-life lighting, materials and physics. A knife thrown into enemy armor may not penetrate deeply enough to kill them. Just like you can extinguish lamps, shooting them will cause them to explode and a fire to spread. As a player, you will need to hone both your aim and tactics in order to successfully navigate your way through the game. This was just one brief stop on an epic journey across post-apocalyptic Russia. Metro Exodus offers a world of stunningly rich environments to traverse and explore. New and overhauled gameplay mechanics and unsurpassed attention to detail. For fans of the series and newcomers alike, the gripping next chapter in Artyom's story promises countless hours of tense and exciting exploration ahead. Right here. Uh, so you can play Metro Exodus many different ways. You can you can play uh, you know full you know guns blazing, or you can take a stealth approach. The game tends to encourage that because it does become very difficult when you when you go you know all out uh, because it is a survival game. Uh, ammunition is scarce, resources are scarce. Um, but uh, we've added a lot of. Uh, uh, you know, elements to the AI and uh, uh, stealth functionality of the game to yeah. make it a lot more robust this time around. So we've worked a lot on uh, communication uh, for AI so that it's a lot easier to understand what they're doing right. uh, without it being overt, without you know, uh, bringing in HUD elements that are unnecessary, which is something that's kind of a staple of the series. We like to, to you know, really let you immerse yourself in the game and, 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 and feel the, the, the realism of, of everything that we're trying to, uh, to allow you to experience. Yeah. And uh, so a lot of these things come together. We, we, we've tried to like really build on that uh, this time around to provide a lot more of a dynamic experience where you can uh, uh, adapt the way that you approach a scenario and the game adapts to how you're uh, you know, approaching depending on what you're doing, what the AI sees you doing, and you're able to, uh, to kind of change that on the fly. 
Now we've, yeah. see, we've seen some factions here, um, but it's not just other factions you have to worry about. You've got some deer right. at E3. I remember yeah. that. It was, was from this level, right? And uh, we had the big the, the bear that comes out at yeah. the end, and, and uh, he's back. He's in this level. He's scared. And, yeah. The head out of me. <laughs> and it's it's uh, he's he's one of the one of the creatures. He's uh, you know in this level that uh, you know the player is going to have to uh, encounter. Um, and uh, there's also I think uh, you know at, at some point here you'll you'll see some uh, yeah oh. there's some wolves. There's a wolf. <laughs> yeah. Some uh, some mutated wolves that you'll have to, to fight off um, and uh, oh ally with. Well, some some factions are going to be just pure evil as, as you would expect. You know, of you know, bandits are probably just you know nefarious no, 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 people nice that are people. you know out for no good. Yeah, right. uh, but some might not be. Some might be neutral. Some will react depending on how you act upon them as well. Yeah. So the game kind of adapts to how you play because we really want you to feel like you are entering the shoes of RTL and the main character and uh, assuming that role and deciding what type of person he is. Right, fantastic. John, it looks, it looks amazing. Burned into shadows. So let us not fear the heretics at our door. Even with their iron steeds standing before us, stinking of machine oil, and shining its heretical light upon us. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. We will not falter. Let us steel ourselves against them. For this is our hour of glory. Amen. Let's move out, Artyom.
no one out there, Artyom. No one to help us. No one to hear us. If there was, don't you think we'd have found them? This world is dying. We have to accept it. There's only us. Why do you keep going up there? What are you hoping to find? Each time you go out there, I wonder if you'll ever return. The Metro is all we have left. And I don't want to die here alone. There's a world out there, Artyom. I want to dream.